You know, I've always been more of a Daisy fan than a Peach fan. Maybe it's because she's implied to be a better ruler. You know, since her kingdom has only been invaded once and Princess Peach's kingdom gets attacked every other Thursday. But you know, regardless of whichever one is better at their job, I'm Kyle Universe and let's take a look at 10 facts about Princess Daisy. Number 10. Alright, so in 1989, the Game Boy was created by the Nintendo Research and Development Number 1 department. Along with this awesome wonder brick, they created the very first Mario game for a portable console, Super Mario Land. The team working on the project wanted the game to take place away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Thus, we have a brand new princess, to which they named her Princess Daisy of Sarasa Land. Number 9 This one's a quick one, but a good one. Princess Daisy is actually the first major character not created by Shigeru Miyamoto. Number 8 Even though Super Mario Land was a huge success, she only had one other video game appearance in the 90s. In the game, NES Tournament Golf. While Peach serves as Mario's caddy, Daisy does the same thing for Luigi and offers him golfing advice. Number 7 after appearing in NES Tournament Golf, Daisy wasn't in another game until Nintendo 64's Mario Tennis, nine years later. By this time, it was the new millennium and Daisy was now rendered in glorious 3D. Well, glorious blocky 3D. But it still looked good. Number 6 So why did it take that long for Princess Daisy to make a comeback? Well, to be honest, there wasn't really a need for more Mario characters at the time. To which, I'm guessing with the release of Mario Golf, Nintendo learned that they need to expand their roster real quick, because I don't know anyone whose favorite characters are Plum and Charlie. So when Mario Tennis came out, they decided to reach into the past and bring back the Princess of Sarasa Land. Number 5 However, there's a chance that Princess Daisy wouldn't have made a comeback had it not been for a rejected idea. It's been said that during the production of Mario Tennis, series creator Shigeru Miyamoto rejected the idea of having an evil version of Peach called Walla Peachy. <laughs> How about that for a name? <laughs> Number 4 While Princess Peach is by far more popular than Daisy, Daisy at least can boast that she was the first Mario princess to appear in live action. In 1993, the Mario Brothers movie was released and it starred not Princess Peach, but Princess Daisy as the leading lady played by Samantha Mathis. Some would say that that's a bad thing to be associated with that movie, but hey, it holds a special place in my heart. Number 3 We're going all the way back to the beginning of my YouTube career for this one. One of my first videos talked about how the Super Smash Bros. Melee Daisy Trophy had an imperfection on it. If you take the camera and pass through the layers of her hair, it reveals... A third eye. Ah, good memories. Daisy's got an eye on the back of her head. Number 2 Over the course of her appearances so far, Daisy has been voiced by two actresses. Jen Taylor, who voiced her from Mario Tennis in 2000 to Mario Party 5 in 2003, and Deanna Mustard, who voiced Daisy in Mario Golf Toadstool Tour from 2003 to the present. Even though Jen Taylor has done a variety of different voices, she's probably best known for doing the voice of Cortana in the Halo games. And for the most part, Deanna Mustard is known for just doing Princess Daisy, but she also provides the voice of Baby Daisy, which, you know, makes sense. Number 1 To this date, which is June 2020, Daisy has appeared in over 70 video games. Kinda weird that she's been in that many and hasn't received a game of her own yet. But who knows what will happen in the future. Just like how Peach got her own game, maybe a Daisy adventure isn't out of the realm of impossibility. <laughs> 